From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Valley Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. Well, you may start to feel that heat. It's beginning to warm up here. It has been slowly increasing over the last few days. 94 was the day daytime high so far in Redding. Chico, much cooler, about 84 degrees. Uh, but there you can see off in the mountains, even Weaverville getting up to about 90, 86 in Hay Fork. Uh, and there are those temperatures along the coast. That's where you can go to really cool off, right in the upper 50s for their daytime highs there. Now, the temperatures are only going to get warmer. You may have been hearing about temperatures well over 100 degrees, 110 degrees possibly in some areas for the valley. Now, as a result, the National Weather Service early this morning decided to issue an excessive heat watch, but it won't take effect until Friday and will be in effect all the way through Sunday until 11 p.m. So we just gotta be on the lookout for that. This is gonna be our first heat wave of the season. So you definitely need to make sure that you're prepared for that and make sure you got plenty of water, just everything you can do to really help yourself with that heat. So take a look at the temperature trend here. And this is what I was talking about up to a, upwards of 110 degrees, especially in the Reading area. And then temperatures start to drop slowly after that. We're about 105 degrees on Monday, 102 on Tuesday. The normal high, is about 96 degrees. So it would be nice if we were maybe closer to that, but that's certainly not gonna be the case over the weekend. So excessive heat watch for Friday through Sunday. Highs around 110 degrees this week. And as I mentioned, I mean, it's gonna be not as hot next week, but still hot. You saw still on the triple digits here for early next week, but it may even drop below that, below 100 degrees by the middle to latter part of next week. All right, so for tonight, we're going to drop down to the low 60s in the valley. I think somewhere in the mid to upper 90s for your daytime highs uh, for your Wednesday. 98 degrees for Redding as well as Red Bluff. Chico, you'll see a high of about 96 degrees. Let's take a look at the big swirling area of low pressure, which is responsible for more of those thunderstorms we did see off into the higher elevations today. There you can see the lightning strikes that we saw associated with that as well. And I got to tell you, you know, that typically when we see a lightning storm like this, and we've seen a lot of lightning storms over the last week or two, this is the fire season. And we tend to get really concerned. But the good news is there just aren't a ton of fuels out there. And it's allowing the firefighters that should any fires develop, they're able to really get a good handle on it. But, you know, if we were to repeat this in a couple of months from now, as we get really deep into when the fuels are starting to get a little bit better, we're starting to see things begin to dry out, we'll have to kind of be on the lookout for that. But these lightning strikes through the evening will probably continue, especially in the Southern Cascades and Northern Sierra. There you can see some of that activity here. But as we go to Wednesday, I still expect to see a chance for showers and thunderstorms off to the east. But of course, for the valley, we're gonna be looking at dry conditions here. Of course, that's gonna be the case here as we go into tonight. Let's take you into Thursday, excuse me, tomorrow night. We take you into Thursday and there you can see the dry conditions, a few clouds. I don't expect any more thunderstorms in the mountains, especially as we go into Thursday. Above normal temperatures over the next six to 10 days. Now what we're seeing here, this is the extended outlook. We're getting closer to these oranges and closer to this color, the gray color. As we get in these deeper colors, that means it's gonna be getting pretty hot. Temperatures well above normal. But you can see here for the next six to 10 days, we're more on those oranges. And look at this, next eight to 14 days, you gotta love this. We may be closer to normal uh, by the time we get in the next eight to 14 days and maybe even below normal in some spots of Northern California. Yeah, we'll take it. I mean, it's still a long ways from now. We'll have to see if that happens, but certainly is promising, right? It kind of gives us some hope that as we're getting through this heat wave coming up, that we may get some relief from it. So here is your forecast for the valley. You can see 96 degrees for Willows, 96 in Corning and Chico, 95 for Durham, 93 in Elk Creek. We take you up to the north with 98 degrees for the city of Shasta Lake and Redding, 98 for Red Bluff and Palisadro, a high of about 97 degrees. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast for Redding. There we have those temperatures in the upper 90s to about a little over 100 degrees here by Thursday, 109 Friday, 110 degrees by Saturday, but there you can see those, again, those temperatures slowly dropping, but still hot as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week.